charting the text. You can go ahead and use your English language arts handbook and on page 20 you'll find the high frequency verbs. So find that high frequency verb page and you're going to use this every time you begin charting. In class we'll start to discuss what do each of these words mean, but take a minute and pick five of these and try and figure out what does the author actually doing when they're comparing. What do we look for so we know if the author is illustrating? Because knowing the difference between these verbs is really important. So you should have already marked your text before you get to the charting. Marking is circling your keywords, underline your main ideas, and of course you start with numbering your paragraphs. Those paragraph numbers will come in handy soon. The chart that you're going to use looks like this. What does the author say and what does the author do? So you break it up by paragraph. So paragraph one through three. What is the author actually saying here? So you start to ask yourself some questions. What is the section about? What is the content? What can you learn? What information is being presented? And so a lot of times looking at what words you circled and what main ideas you underlined, you could put kind of a little bit of a note out to the side of that chunk of text that will help you complete this chart. Then you look at what is the author doing, and here you're going to be using those high frequency verbs that I showed you before. They're giving an example, interpreting data, sharing an anecdote, summarizing information, or reflecting on a process. And again, you have about 20 or more verbs to choose from. So you're choosing one or two of these verbs, and of course some paragraphs are doing more than one thing. But you want to not just say giving, what are they giving? They're giving an example. So make sure you give a phrase in this in this box when you're doing your charting. These two boxes are going to change the way your writing um, is presented and we'll get to the writing portion later in the week. So to review, mark the text, write in the margin, chart the what, chart the do, and be sure to use your handbook page 20 through 22.